This is me when I'm sitting here. I work with this sweater on and this tourniquet in my head. Story time. Okay, so boom. Let me tell y'all how my ex-fiance became my ex-fiance. A new husband and a new dad. All in a year of his best friend who is now his new wife. Speaking now and not forever holding her peace at my wedding. So let me tell y'all, she was invited to the wedding because he had told me like, can she please come to the wedding? That's my best friend. And I already had reservations on letting her come to the wedding. But I was like, you know what? That's his best friend. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He told me, don't worry about her. And I'm not really worried about her, even though I have my reservations because I really should have been popped that bitch in the mouth because I've been you one of my nigga, even though he was trying to convince me that she didn't want my nigga. I knew she wanted my nigga. Disclaimer, I am a firm believer that men should have women friends and women should have men friends platonic and i do believe that women and men can have platonic relationships if they're grown and they're not weirdos and that they could respect people's boundaries it's really about respect so anyways back to how i had to knock a bitch head off at my wedding in my wedding dress and still never even made it to become a wife <laughs> but let me just tell y'all this let me just set the scene for y'all before we go into the backstory of it right so basically we at the wedding or whatever she's invited i didn't even really want to invite the bitch but anyway she came because this is his best friend whatever i should have snatched his lips off his face when he asked so boom it's a good day everything's good like i kind of have a weird feeling but i don't really know what the weird feeling is but i'm just going with the day because it's my wedding day like you know maybe it's just nerves so y'all boom 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 we get to the altar y'all we at the altar and the the reverend's talking and they're like is there anybody is there anybody here who who um objects to this marriage y'all and i don't know if y'all watch a different world but y'all remember when Dwayne was like baby please that's how i felt it was and she was like Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Don't do this. I've loved you. You know this. We just had a conversation. You told me you weren't going to go through with it. Oh, I'm about to put my hands on somebody. So now we all turn around like this. I look at my bridesmaids. They tying their hair up. Oh, yeah. We about to beat your ass. Like, bitch, you're about to get jumped. And then as I'm sitting in confusion, all I hear is my cousins go, love. You being weird to me. You said you wanted to get married. I know how many of my cousins coming. We riding at dawn. But before I let y'all know what happened and how we beat her and her cousins the fuck up. And when I say we, I mean, all I could do was hit somebody with my bouquet because I had my wedding dress on and I had no motion in it. No motion. Since I didn't need my wedding bouquet no more because what fucking wedding is about to happen now, I beat somebody ass with it. So my bouquet ended up having no flowers by the end of all of this. But let's just give y'all a backstory, okay? So just to set the scene of what the fuck happened at that wedding, my bouquet was flowerless. Me and my ex were together for all of four years. That was including the engagement and what was supposed to be our wedding. So we really were getting married on our anniversary of our fourth year because we just wanted one anniversary date. So this is our fourth year wedding anniversary when this bitch decided to lose her fucking mind because that's literally what had to have happened. So she doesn't know me. I don't know her. Like she knows of me because I'm his fiance and I know of her as being a thirsty bitch. Literally, that's how I know her. Like i seen the text messages. I've seen the messages. When he asked for her to come to my wedding, we were making the guest list. He had was like, oh, well, um, I want to put her on there. And I was like, no, she's not coming. Like, she wants you. And that's when I told him, like, she wants you. And he was like, I never told him how I knew. And he was like, no, she don't. No, she don't. She got a baby daddy. Da, 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 da. She in love. She in love. She be calling you crying about her baby daddy. Venting to you about her baby daddy. Yeah, she in love. With you. So this is his best friend. So, like, she comes around on, like, like sometimes we have like football Sunday or whatever and like I'll cook and like she'll come over there with her baby daddy and I don't know I guess they had a conversation and one day she came to me and she was like um I know he I know you guys are having your wedding you're making the guest list and I just was wondering if um I was going to be able to be on it and I just looked at her dead in her face because and I looked at him and I looked at her and I looked at him and I looked at her because why do you have this bitch talking to me <laughs> so I was like I don't know I'll think about it that was it and then like you know i went over there and i started talking to my cousins so I, I i don't i didn't have no problem with her but i already knew like i already peeped the game so like please get the fuck out my face she asked me that in the beginning of the wedding planning and then like i just never answered and then like two months go by when we we're finalizing the list and he's like are you gonna let her come and i'm like you know what let her come and then he was like well she want a plus one because she want to bring her baby daddy and i'm like do her baby daddy know that she in love with you? <laughs> he just look at me like, that's me, man. You do too fucking much. You always are just... I'm just saying. Do he know? So I'm like, whatever. I don't really care. Like, she could come. Like, I'm not really... I have a trust in my man. 
you put your trust in a nigga stupid hoe how you figure after that it's just like okay she's coming she got a plus one she's far from my mind i'm in wedding planning mode i got things to do like i do not think about this bitch i will not not another second in my life as we get closer to the wedding or whatever she starts calling a little bit more and at this point she's crying and she's telling him and vented to him about how her baby daddy didn't knock her head between the washer and the dryer and i'm like why is she calling you like why are you the first person she calls to tell you that her baby daddy is ike and she tina and you are engaged and you're planning a wedding like i just i don't know something wasn't sitting right with me it was like and you could just tell by the conversation like he was just consoling her a little too much let that bitch cry like literally where are her brothers and cousins because he needs to get beat the fuck up and you not about to go beat him up you're not about to be captain save a i'm so sorry now let's go back to the text messages that i seen that i did not tell y'all about or him that i seen so the text messages i end up saying i just am so sad i can't believe that you proposed to her that should have been me i know i'm your best friend but i thought that we would have more i thought that you would finally see my worth and you didn't and you let me be with this man and you know he don't love me the way that you love me and every time he makes me feel bad you're there to, to help me and, and you care about my feelings and you make me feel so seen so knowing what the text message said and hearing what she's saying right now is the reason why my wedding turned into fight night and we did not get our deposit back. I want y'all to know that now. No deposit was given back. Now when I see these text messages, there's nothing said. It just says red. And I'm like, there's no fucking way that he did not respond. There's no way. So what I do is go to the recently deleted and I recover all the messages from her name and they go back. So now I go back and now I see like a whole thread of messages. And then all the messages, he's like, you know, if Destiny find out, she gonna beat your ass and is. And she's like, I can't believe you. I can't believe that you're gonna choose her over me. And he's like, what you mean? I'm gonna choose over me. This is my fiance. Like, where are you even coming from with this? Like, yada, 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 this, this, that, and the other. Like, and she's like, are you gonna act like we didn't have nothing? He was like, well, what we had, that was just brief. I had a, it was a lapse in judgment. That was before we got engaged. You knew that. I told you I wanted to be with her and I didn't want to be with you. So I don't even understand what the fuck is, what this is. You can't come to our wedding no more. You not coming to our wedding. So now I'm reading the messages and I'm like, he's still, you still giving this bitch too much. I'm confused. Like you should have blocked the, you should have called her a weird bitch and blocked her. Bitch, you're a weirdo. So I have found these messages like a couple months before the wedding, but and it was around our bachelor party. It was like around the time that we were about to leave to go to our bachelor and bachelor party. So when I found the messages, I just didn't say nothing because I was like, okay, like, you know, like he did shut it down. Like he 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 low-key he had a little bit of loyalty he had a little bit of loyalty dummy i'm a dummy i processed it like the whole time so then one night at the bachelor party i just decided like all right y'all let's play a game let's play put a finger down so i'm like y'all put a finger down if you found messages of your fiance and his best friend and basically it looked like they in love a little bit and you don't know what the fuck to do because y'all wedding is coming up but he low-key stood on business and if you think that um i should go through with the wedding and you don't know what to do and life is just hitting you life is just hard and you just crying and you don't want to cry you just want to be happy and you're about to go on your honeymoon and you're about to go to bali and they're like what what so now i'm just sitting there because i didn't put my finger down and i'm waiting for somebody else to put their finger down because it's, it's, it's only my life a joke so now me and them talking about it and so you know after everybody put their opinion in we got the people calling me a stupid bitch because i'm still gonna get married then you got the ones like consoling me like destiny i understand like them the ones that really got my heart the other ones they're so mean to me they're so mean like i know i'm stupid like what you know how much i pay for this wedding then you got the other ones like get your lick back so like so boom we back from a bachelor and bachelorette party it's just not sitting right with me so like one day in marriage counseling i was like you know, we was like, we was like beefing a little bit, like relationship shit. So then when we get there one day, I'm just like, I don't want to walk into our marriage like this with this being known. And I need you to explain something to me because if I get up there and I don't have a, a answer, we're going to end up in a divorce. I need you to explain to me right now. What are these messages that I found? in the phone with her telling her that she love you 
basically and that she can't believe that you marrying me and you proposing to me and you telling her i was gonna beat her ass so then now he just look at the therapist and then he look at me and he like what so you wanna so you didn't hear me oh uh, we are on commercial break um i will be back shortly give me a minute give me a minute i'm trying to get myself together but i just want y'all to think about something while we're on this commercial break before i come back i want y'all to explain to me why the fuck would he start crying leave a comment down below the therapist is like what's going on and i'm like yeah please explain to both of us at the same time what the fuck is going on and he's like destiny i didn't think that you would ever find the messages i could not believe her i uninvited her to the wedding i'm like i know you uninvited her to the wedding but i need you to explain to me what was going on like were y'all having an affair what was going on he was like no it was nothing like that i did start to see signs that she um was getting a little bit too close to me especially when she was going through her man and i'm like i told you that i told you that the therapist is just as flabbergasted as me flabbergasted she's speechless i don't think she said nothing for five minutes i think she was just staring because we want to hear this now i'm like emotionally cheating on me is way worse than physically cheating like both of them are insane and both of them will get your lips ripped off your face but i'm turning over a new leaf but there's never a problem for me to go back like so do i need to go back there we need clarification here so now he's like i blocked her i have not talked to her in weeks like I know how it looks and I apologize and I'm sorry, y'all. Then here comes Niagara Falls. Now he's crying. He's like, I know I should have been told you what was going on. I just, the, the stress of the wedding, I didn't want to ruin it. Like, I still love you. You're still the one I want to be with. Yada, 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 yada. So at this point, he blocked her, right? So now I'm just like, you know what? Like, if you, he said he blocked her, like, I trust him. I knew what the fuck was going on. He didn't see it. He's now finally seeing it, y'all. I was, I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So as he's talking and he's explaining to me how he like didn't want to tell me and he was trying to hide it from me. He knew how it would look and that was his friend for a long time and it was hard for him. And but he did choose me. I'm just sitting there listening and thinking about it. Like he has me fucked up. Like if he thinks that it should have never been a question who you were choosing that bitch should have been gone when i told you that she was crossing lines back then and now look where we are but i'm just sitting here listening because like i i gotta take it to the chin so there was no contact before the wedding there was no contact at all she was blocked because bitch you're weird and i just never i still don't understand right now to this day what the fuck the bitch is thinking right now like it, it pisses me off thinking about it actually i'm triggered so now fast forward like it's like a week before the wedding and he's getting all these spam emails and all these unknown calls and someone just blowing his phone up and i'm like i don't know what the fuck is going on but you better get it the fuck together so like it, one day like i was in the bathroom and the phone just keep ringing 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 and i'm like i just pick it up i'm like hello how may i help you how may i help you and she's like i really just need to talk to him bitch i'm gonna i'm gonna beat you up and i'm like bitch the only thing you're gonna need is a hospital bed because i'm gonna knock you in the next fucking week when i see you get in the field why do you keep calling his phone you being disrespectful and i'm not taking lightly to it i let i let the text message slide because i've seen the fucking messages i got the motherfucking videotapes like at this point i want to fight i want to fight you better hope i don't see you you need to stop calling his phone she's like i've always been here i don't give a damn so as she's talking on the phone telling me all these things he comes in the room and i mute the phone and i said shut the fuck up like don't say nothing yeah he like you answer my phone not right now hang up on you not in the mood well i'll pick that call up later don't worry about it we're here right now though focus so i'm listening she's just going y'all spilling her heart out oh my god she couldn't wait to talk to me oh my god are we friends besties so she's talking and she's saying all these things you don't ask him to pray me and him pray together we pray for your relationship i wanted to work out with you guys i'm on your team yes i love him but i only love him as a friend and he tells me he's not really happy with you and this and this and this and i'm looking i'm like you pillow talking with this bitch now i hang the fuck up tell her bye so he's like bro i told you already i already told you and she like what you mean you already click hang up mid-sentence 
He's like, I'm going to change my number. You better do fucking something. So now when I hang up, me and him arguing. Because what the fuck is going on? This bitch been blowing your phone up. So is this the person that's been emailing you and calling you? Do you know that? Have you spoke to her? No, I haven't spoke to her. I've really been ignoring her. She's just been doing the most. Yada, yada, yada. This, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, no, you really have me fucked up because she's emotionally invested. And you think that I'm going to walk down the aisle and marry you next week. And you have a bitch that's in love with you right now in our face today. Like, do you think that that would be something smart to do? Or like, right? So now here we go again with the crying. Like, oh my God, save the tears. What our mamas used to say, shut up crying before I give you something to cry about. Because what the fuck are you crying for? I'm, con I, I, sh I don't got no motherfucking tears for you. All I have is anger. I am pissed. So what the fuck do you think? Like, do I look like I have stupid written across my forehead? Like, now I'm asking him all these type of questions because I'm confused. Do you really think I should go down the aisle and marry? He's like, I love you. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I don't know what she's doing. I told you I blocked her. I did. She's tripping. She's tripping. This goes on for an hour and it gets nowhere. It's just going in a circle because I'm still fucking confused. If I'm nothing else, I'm confused as fuck. Our wedding is in a week. Our wedding is in a week. So now, like, y'all, yeah, I cried. Because, man, you got me fucked up. Like, you're playing in my face. Like, like I love this person. But, like, at the same time, you know, like, it's hard to really trust yourself in certain situations. Like, I know what I need to do. But at the same time, like, your mind and your heart, that game, that's a dangerous game to play, okay? But I cry and get over shit. So now we've cried and we got over shit. So now after I processed, I'm like, I'm not marrying him. But you want to embarrass me, I'm going to embarrass the fuck out of you. So now, fast forward to the wedding. I already made my mind up before I walked down the aisle. Nobody knew. Everybody just knew. Well, I never even told nobody about this last situation. I just kept it to myself. So nobody even knew but me and him that this was going on, right? But they knew that the bitch had... The, everything else was... Everything was out in the open. Everything else was out in the open. I'm going to stay in character. We're going to have this wedding. And you want to go low, I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to embarrass you. So I'm not going to say I do. So y'all... I was already up there on bullshit. All I told my bridesmaids and my cousins was we're on bullshit. So they already knew the assignment. So I was already up there on bullshit. So when she came in to like Dwayne Wayne, the bullshit began gladly. Bullshit, anybody could get it. The mama, the grandma, the cousin, the aunties, the daddy, the brothers, the sisters, who wants it? So I tell my bridesmaids before we walk down the aisle, like we're in the room, final touches. I'm like, we're on bullshit. They're like, what you mean? We're on bullshit, stay alert. My brother is walking me down the aisle. So I'm telling him, like, we on bullshit. So before me and Dede turn the corner to walk down the aisle, I'm like, I look at him and I'm like, I just start laughing. I'm like, Dede, I'm on bullshit. I'm not saying I do. There's not going to be a wedding. I don't know what to expect. He, I already don't fuck with his family because they just some weirdos. So, like, it just, like, everything was just aligning for me to not marry this man, okay? So I'm telling him, he's looking at me like, what the fuck? He's in complete confusion. You don't have that much time to be in confusion. These people about to see you. Fix your face, snap into character, and let's do what the fuck we got to do. Let's do what came to be done. At the end of the day, the day got to end. So I'm like, warn the troops when you sit down. Because it's, it's, he's sitting in a line with my cousin, my other cousins. So I'm like, warn the troops, but just let them know I'm on bullshit. So that's it. My bridesmaids still don't know what's going on. Mind y'all, we still only, he, he only knows. I only think at this point that I'm not getting married. I'm going to just say no, and I'm just on bullshit, and I'm about to just turn this wedding up. I'm not thinking this delusional psycho bitch, a thin line between love and hate, is about to come up here, and we're going to have to fuck her up too. So, y'all, we standing up there. My stomach is in knots. Like, I'm nervous as fuck because, like, oh, my God, like, I got to stand on business, and I got to do it with my chest out. Like, we're here now. Like, I can't go through with this. I can't marry this man. Like, that would be stupid. So here's where I fucked up and I didn't think it all the way through. I should have never went to that wedding. I should have just broke it off before. But my impulsive thoughts and me going so left in my mind sometimes, I this this plan was just perfect. It was it was perfect to me. Now I'm standing up at the, there at the altar, stomach in knots, y'all. My stomach is in my ass because I am dressed in this wedding dress. Everybody's here. Nobody knows I'm on bullshit. But now Day Day and my cousins in that row. No and. I'm literally going to say, never mind when he asked me, do I, I do. Please say I do. I don't. So the officiant was funny and everything, right? So he's talking or whatever, and he's talking about how no three chords of one strand cannot easily be broken with God as the center. You could have everything. And I'm just sitting there listening, like repenting. I'm just asking for forgiveness because God, only you know my, you know my heart and only you know that I'm about to flip this motherfucking table. 
So he finally says, if there's anyone here who thinks these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. And all you hear is, Josiah, I cannot believe you went through with this. So I instantly start cracking up like, hell no. And I look at my bridesmaids and my bridesmaids already tying their hair up. So as my bridesmaid tying her hair up, she's walking up. My cousin who was already in the audience already knew too, who wasn't a bridesmaid job before she could even get there. When she walked past her, she like grabbed her by her hair and like yanked her. So by this time, I didn't slap this nigga in the face with my bouquet because you got me fucked up. And I want everybody to know that we are not getting married. He been cheating on me with that bitch. This bitch here crashing my wedding. What the fuck is this? Y'all, instant chaos. Melee beating bitches up now come out the woodworks all like it's like 10 of her cousins you bought back up none of you bitches put your heads together like maybe we shouldn't go crash a bitch wedding that is a crash out and we know it's gonna whoop your ass y'all all just came and decided like we're gonna get our ass beat together like the fact that you would even put your cousins in harm's way like that is very not very demure not very cutesy it's giving diabolical it's giving y'all about to get beat the fuck up it's giving what the fuck was y'all thinking on your way over here her and her family from Ratatouille are insane. So when she coming in and my cousin snatch her down, I can't get nowhere. All I'm doing now, and Josiah is up here and he looking like his eyes just big as fuck. He like, Destiny, Destiny, stop him. I'm beating his ass with my bouquet. Like, there's no way. I'm about to beat your ass. So I'm just hitting him with his bouquet, his bouquet. His mom come up him and she grab my arm. So now my mama come over there and my mama push her the fuck down because <laughs> we've been waiting to whoop y'all ass. I felt like the fight was going on for at least five minutes. Like, it was just so much going on, y'all. I'm in my wedding dress, so I could barely move. Another to the girl, because my cousins didn't jump the bitch. Like, I don't know, why did we ride at dawn? Like, it was so much havoc. It was so much chaos. Like, my grandma's sitting over there. Like, y'all better not knock my grandma down, because then that's another thing. I'm standing up there. I could barely move in my dress. I need to pay attention to my grandma, because if y'all knock my grandma down, I'm going to beat y'all ass for real. I will come out of this dress and beat y'all the fuck up behind my grandma. Now we got the wedding venue, people calling the police, people screaming, people yelling, there's so much going on. Josiah done ran, I don't know where the fuck he went. I didn't beat the flowers off him. I didn't beat him when my bouquet till the flowers came on. The girl on the ground, she didn't got up and ran. Her wig came off, that's on the floor. Her cousins done ran after her, now they scared. Now it's just so much going on, my bridesmaids, my dogs. So now we gotta, I go back to the suite to get my stuff because I'm in my wedding dress. We gotta get out of this venue. We're, I know we're not getting our money back. We know we're not getting our money back. We gotta take our L. So y'all, as we go get our stuff, we there for like another like 30 minutes, y'all. By the time we go out, I had not seen Josiah since I beat him upside the head with my bouquet. Please remember this. So I go gather my stuff and when we go back to the front to walk out, y'all, I had not seen Josiah since I knocked him upside his head with my bouquet. When I say knocked upside his head, I beat his, I beat the flowers off my bouquet, whooping his ass. And so when we go outside, y'all, guess who I see? Josiah and that girl like trying to talk to him. Like he like, no, nah, no. Nah. She like walking behind him. He trying to walk away. But now I'm out of my dress. Oh, I'm about to beat your ass. So I'm like, oh, you still here? But they had said they was going to call the police. So a lot of my family, whoever was involved in the fight, y'all need to get the fuck up out of here. But I have my dress on, so I really didn't do nothing but beat him the fuck up. So now I'm in my, um, I got sweats, I got on slides, like, because I had to rush up out of there just get out of my dress. And it's me, and it's only two of my cousins and my auntie. We don't give a fuck. It could be us against the world. We're going to fuck you up. The bitch thought I was playing. I don't know if she thought it was a joke, but I told her I'm going to beat your ass. And I wasn't playing, like... First of all, you came in here and you ruined my wedding. You didn't even give me a chance to say I don't. Now I'm now I'm real mad. Okay, so boom. I'm walking out and I'm peeping the scene. So by the time I see it, I drop all my stuff and I start running. I don't say nothing to nobody. So as I'm running up on her, because she's walking with her back towards me, all you hear is her cousins going, Ryan, Ryan, turn around, turn around. They in the car. All I hear is them saying that. So I'm guessing they in the car because I don't see none of these scary bitches. They are in hiding. My cousins ran them bitches off. Got to be quicker than that, because by the time she turned around, I'm already up on her. Me, 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 me. Knock her ass on the ground. So now I'm beating her up, and she's like, Josiah, Josiah, you're not going to tell her. Every time she says his name, I'm hitting her in her mouth, because bitch, shut the fuck up. You're not going to tell her, Josiah. You're not going to tell her what it is with us. You're not going to tell her what it is with us. The more she talks, the more I'm hitting her. He finally grabbed me up off her. Now I'm swinging on him, because stop, get off me. Your best bet? So now, y'all, we in the parking lot. Now we're in the, like, closer to the venue. And there's people walking to their car. So, like, his family run up. And my cousins is like, I dare anybody to jump in. I dare anybody to jump in. His mama already don't want it. My auntie is standing right there. Bitch, my mama pushed you down and my auntie will knock you down. Mind y'all, we're leaving past because we know that they're going to call the police. We know the police is bound for the police to come. 
by the time I'm done beating this bitch up and I get up, there's a bunch of people surrounding us. His family, it's only me, my cousins, and my auntie. They didn't have to hurry up and get her to her car because she needs medical attention. So now I'm walking in my car and I'm just trying to figure out, like, I'm talking to my cousins, like, how long y'all think I'm going to have to sit in this jail cell? All I'm thinking is, like, oh my God, it's Saturday. I'm going to have to sit in jail till Monday. Y'all know how I feel about jail. I do not fuck with jail, none. Now I'm sitting in the holding tank reflecting, like, this is just a whole lot, a whole lot of, like, I'm crying at the same time because now, like, I can't even go on my honeymoon by myself and relax, relate, and release because now I'm in here waiting to be released. The one phone call I got, I spent calling my grandma boohoo crying because I am in disbelief. She couldn't even understand the words. She just kept telling me, Destiny, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Like, grandma, I can't calm down. I'm hyperventilating. What am I doing in jail? This is not a place for a princess didn't have to use my phone call to call nobody to bail me out because everybody knew where the fuck I was. I'm pretty sure once my cousin seen me going away in that cop car with a smile on my face, they called the family. They alerted the troops. So I know I'm not going to be sitting there long, but five minutes is too long to be in jail, okay? So I find they're finally like, okay, you made bail. So like, I don't know who's bailing me out because I have not talked to anybody. So when I'm walking out, I'm just like walking, just like thinking, and all I hear is destiny. And I look to the left and it's Josiah standing outside his car. <laughs> be fucker for real you bailed me out and he's like yeah i bailed you out what do you mean why wouldn't i bail you out no the question is why would you waste your money on bailing me out because i'm about to beat your ass but i didn't i turned around and i walked away because i beat your ass enough with that bouquet of flowers i don't understand what you're doing here i don't understand what you think is going to be fixed i don't understand what the fuck you think you have to say to me but you have nothing to say to me so when i turn around and i'm walking away i'm walking down the pathway because now i have my phone so now i'm trying to turn my phone on which was on two percent so I'm like, fuck, like my phone was dead. It's not going to turn on. So I'm walking out. He follows me. He's following me in his car. So as I'm walking down the walkway, he has his window down and he going slow. And he's like, man, that's me. Just get in. Just get in. You got to go home anyways. We still live together. And I turn and I look at him and I say, no, I got to go home. You better take your ass. You're homeless. And bitch, you don't have no home to go to. But mind y'all, as he's driving, his phone is on his lap. But like, I see the flash flash. Who's blowing your phone up? Is it Ryan? Like, man, you worried about the wrong shit right now? No, you're not worried about the right shit. You should probably be worried about the bitch that's worried about you. Because the person who you just bailed out of jail don't give a fuck. I really, I'm still confused. What are you doing here? But now he like, Destiny, he's begging me. Destiny, please talk to me. Please talk to me. Please talk to me. And I'm like, bro, like, please leave me alone. Like, I'm still mad. Like, now I'm crying in anger. Like, now these are angry tears because, like, you're, you're, why? I'm confused telling him you have nothing to say to me you have nothing to say to me you have nothing to say to me you need to get your shit and you need to be gone you need to get your stuff out of our house what jasmine sullivan say you're off the lease run me my keys now he's like man you need to chill out you need to relax with all that you need to relax like you need to get out of my face it's like you are we not where's the disconnect he acts like he does not hear me he acts like he does not see the frustration he acts like he doesn't acts like he doesn't understand the anger or the pain and he keeps bothering me and since you want to act like you don't fucking hear me like are you slow are you not comprehending i'm gonna just do us both a favor and i'm gonna cut my ears off so now at this point i just signed to him like he already knows that means i'm not listening to shit you're saying i'm not fooling the asl but he's don't know no asl so i will finger spell a conversation before I open my mouth or let him get the bent, let him feel like I'm listening to anything he's saying. My ears are off. Shut up. He didn't get the fucking hint. So now I'm just sitting there like. He's like, I don't know what that means. Be fucking for real. And I was pissed the fuck off because I forgot I had just told him I was deaf. So I shouldn't even be talking to you. I can't even hear nothing you're saying, so I'm irritated. I forgot that I, I couldn't hear. He wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned around and I walked back into jail to see if anybody had a charger or a phone I could use. So somebody had a charger, so I sat there and I put my phone in the charger. So I'm sitting there for like, like my phone come on in like a couple minutes. So I don't need that much juice. So I call my cousins and I call my brother and I'm like, I need is somebody coming to get me? And my brother like, yeah, we on our way, we on our way. Like we knew you was gonna be getting out, we was going to bail you out, but some they already said your bail had been posted. And we who the fuck who bailed you out? Like, well, we, we ain't got time for this. Come get me. We will talk about that in the car. So y'all, they like, all right, we pulling up. We'll be there in five minutes. So I'm like, okay, bet. So as I walk outside, y'all, he's parked and I see his car lights come on as he see me walk. We know he's following us. We're not stupid, right? So now we're three cars deep. I get in the car with my cousin. So then my brother and my dude cousins is in one car. And then my other cousins is in another car or whatever. So now, 
we pull up to, we like, let's just pull up to my house or whatever. So now we pull up to my house and he get out the car tripping. Who the fuck you got picked up for? You three cars deep. I know you ain't bring no niggas to my house. I know you ain't bring no niggas to my house. And so now my cousins and my brother hop out the car and they like, bro, you got some fucking nerves following us here. I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to. You better keep your head on the swivel. You better keep your head on the swivel. You think this shit is sweet? You doing all of this? I mean, we appreciate you for bailing her up. We should pack you out right now. Now my man just going to the house, just going to the house. So y'all, we all in the house where I'm not letting you the fuck in. I told you, you was homeless. House for like 30 minutes. I hear a boom, boom, boom at the door. So I go to the door, y'all. It's like four o'clock in the morning. I go to the door and it's the police and they're like, um, we have um, the owner of this house and he's saying that there are people in here who's trespassing and they needed to be escorted from their prop his property because they're threatening him. Sir, he, he's homeless. Like, officer, I'm so sorry that he called you on some bullshit because that's really what this is. I said, they are not trespassing. This is my family. They're at my house. We live in this house together. I don't know what the fuck he talking about. I don't even know why he called y'all like he was staying here, officer. Like, can y'all actually do me a favor and go ask him what is his plan once they leave? Because he's still not staying here. Like, he could tell y'all this is his home and all these other things, but he's homeless. Like, I, pro I promise. I said... He knows what he did, and does he want to get a bag? Does he need clothes? Like, I'm confused. So he goes and talks to him, and then he comes back, and he's like, he's just saying he want to stay here tonight. Like, this is his home. He has the right to. I said, officer, if he stays here, you're going to be coming back out, and I'm going to be getting arrested for domestic violence, and I don't want to do that because I don't condone that, officer. I promise I don't condone that. And I, I was just with your homies for hours i don't want to go back now i'm crying again because now i'm irritated as fuck like you're really you're you're really doing it up and doing the most for somebody who needs their teeth knocked out their mouth now i'm yelling at this point when ryan get out the hospital you might as well tell her to come pick you up so as he's over there crying to the police officers trying to play victim because are you serious tears is crazy cry me a river build a bridge and get the fuck over it right now please actually this officer comes back and he's like, Destiny, he said he just wants to get it back. He just wants to get his clothes. He don't feel comfortable with them in the house. So I'm like, he's like, will you allow him to go in the house and get some clothes at least? And he said he'll leave peacefully. I said, absolutely. Come right on in. I tell my family, go outside in the garage. Y'all just go in the garage or whatever. So now they in the garage just laughing. When I tell y'all, they can't stop laughing. I'm confused too because like, bitch, ain't not, there's nothing funny about this. Like we could laugh later, but not now. But when he comes in, y'all, I promise to y'all. He goes upstairs, he grabs his bag, brings it back down. And the police officer, me and the police officer are in like, the police officer is just standing there and I'm sitting on the island in the kitchen. So when he comes, he comes down, puts his bag on the couch, goes back upstairs. He come back down. He got like five socks, go back upstairs. Every time he goes up and down the stairs, he's trying to say something to me. Mind y'all, I just keep looking at him because I'm deaf. He's still trying to talk to me and I'm just staring at him because I can't hear you. <laughs> like I think, I think he, I'm telling y'all, there's a disconnect somewhere. I didn't say nothing to him. I'm not giving him that. I'm going to shut the fuck up right now while this police officer is in here. Because if not, I'm going to go back to jail. I'm going to go back. And orange is not the new black. As he walking out, he's like, I promise, Destiny. I promise it's not what you think. Just talk to me. I'm not talking to her. Da, da, da. As he's walking out, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Ryan next time I see her, I'm whooping her ass again. I'm going to whoop her ass till I can't whoop her ass no more. Like an hour later, like my cousins start to leave or whatever, but some of them stay just in case like anybody want to come over here on bullshit. We're one band, one sound. We're on go because we're on bullshit and we can't get up off of it. Not a, not not no time soon. We got to stay. We have to stay here. Mind you, this man I'm talking about laying down, winding down. He's been blowing my phone up. No caller ID since he left. Like and I tried to I finally end up putting my phone on silence no caller ids right i finally end up doing that because usually i'm so fucking nosy i just want to see somebody calling but i just i didn't have the mental capacity to deal with that after everything then calmed down i'm in my bed minding my own fucking business watching my comfort show insecure and i get a message on my phone from a number that i didn't know i've never seen the number it's like a completely different area code that said like he was in on it oh boom i'm like who was in on what that's the text i sent back immediately like I, I didn't ask no questions because now i'm in confusion i said all the way up like who the fuck was in on what because there's no way that somebody that josiah was in on it because not the man who just bailed me out of jail and just did all this and called the police it was packing his stuff at like a fucking caterpillar
waiting for them to respond because it took them like 10 minutes to respond because it took me 30 minutes to respond to them because in on what so now i'm trying to put the number in on cash app and figure out if it come up nothing's popping up i'm calling nothing's happening i put i text my cousins who was there and i just put the number like hey y'all call us and see what happened they, they write back like nothing happened i'm like fuck like so now i don't know who this is they're calling they're texting me from a text now number like texting me like casper is literally insane so when they finally text me back whoever shim was because it could be a she or a him it took me like 10 minutes to open the message because my hands were sweating like i was just like what the fuck like my mind was just going but you cannot understand weird and i kept having to tell myself that like Destin, you cannot understand weird like don't even try to begin to understand because you're gonna run yourself into the fucking ground but i'm gonna crash out i promise so when i finally open the message i see josiah was in on it josiah planned all of this so i text back and say josiah was in on what and josiah planned all of what i need i need details so she's like, they've been dating for the last year. They have had a secret affair for the last year. They confessed their love to each other at a party after they got drunk. So now they're giving me all the tea. So they're like, so six months in, they kind of it kind of got rocky because he wasn't leaving you the way that he said that he was going to leave you. So then they came up with this plan to ruin your wedding. But as it got closer and she started getting more crazy because she realized that he wasn't going to leave. This, I'm reading this shit in disbelief. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. And after she got uninvited to the wedding, that's when she started to crash out. And she got admitted to the psych ward for 72 hours. And that's when he blocked her. I go and silence my no caller ID calls. Because the next time that he calls, oh, he going to get through. I end up reading it, going to sleep. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I get up and I use the bathroom. And my phone started ringing no caller ID. I'm on here. Destiny, please just talk to me. Please just talk to me. I said, Josiah. I don't want to know nothing. But did you plan to ruin our wedding? Was you cheating on me our whole in during our whole engagement? It wasn't even like that. What the fuck is it not like? I need you to explain. I need you to explain fast. Because there's a lot of shit going on. And before I crash out, because you know I will, I need answers. And I need them fucking fast. There's only one fucking way there can be. Because that's the way that it was. All signs point to whoever this person is. And I'm, then I'm like, who the fuck is this person? So I read him the number. Like, do you know who this is? He's like, no, I don't know that number. People weird as fuck. No, you're weird as fuck. No, you're the fucking weirdo. That bitch is a weirdo, but you're a weirdo too. And y'all probably deserve each other. And uh, you have the answers to my questions that I have. And I need you to talk faster because you're not talking fast enough for me. And you got about five minutes before my ears stop working again. Yeah, Destiny, relax. Relax. I told you it was not even like that. You're not telling me what it was like. So I don't know. If you want me to relax, you better start talking. And I'm still not going to relax because you still have me very much so fucked up. Like, I know I be having myself fucked up sometimes. But in this situation, no, you have me fucked up. Now he's playing. So now he's playing dumb. Like, in on what? And I'm like, okay, now you want to play dumb. Listen to me. And I need you to listen to me clearly. I'm about to ask you these questions. And I need you. Do you need a pen and a paper? Because I'm only going to ask them once. And I need you to answer them. And I need you to answer them with full fucking complete sentences. And you might as well tell the truth. Like, there's no point in me even lying. Like, we're done. Like, I don't know what you think in your mind. He's trying to explain himself and apologize. I don't want to hear it. I cut him off. Question number one. Are you ready? Be like, man, you need to relax. Ask your, just ask your fucking questions. Just ask your fucking questions. Not you got an attitude. And I'm like, y'all been having an affair for a year? And he's like, we wasn't having no affair. Who told you we was having an affair? They need to send you screenshots. They need to send you receipts. Niggas always want receipts when they caught. You want me to have a proof that you're an idiot? You want me to have justification of why I knocked your two front teeth out since you want to smile in the bitch face? Go smile now. Go smile in their face now with your teeth missing. Like, so you're saying that y'all wasn't in a relationship, y'all wasn't fucking around like that. So how the fuck did this come about? When did this happen? What fucking party was y'all at? And where the fuck was I at for you to be able to do all of this? We were at her cousin Halloween party, and that's when you had went out of town to Oklahoma to go see your cousin. And we was at her party. Me and you was going through it. She was going through with her baby daddy that had just broke up. We just started drinking. Like, we was having a good time. I didn't think nothing of it. And one thing led to another. What did it lead to? You fucked her? I made a mistake, Destiny. I made a mistake. No, you're the mistake. Your mama made the ultimate mistake when she decided to keep you. I don't want to start with your mama. She should have whooped your ass. I'm like, okay, help me understand. Let me make sure I'm, I'm, I'm understanding correctly. So, when I was in Oklahoma with my cousin, he was at a party at her cousin's house, in a bitch face, smiling and laughing, getting drunk, trying to hide from your problems instead of going to therapy to see the lady like you fucking need to, but that's, I digress. 
I don't put it two and two together. And I'm like, okay, if I hop on around the time around Halloween, he proposed to me on Thanksgiving. So a couple weeks before you proposed to me, you was kissing this bitch in the mouth. So I'm confused as to what the fuck happened. Why wouldn't you leave me where I was? Because now you're playing in my face. And one thing I can't stand is somebody playing in my face. You could have left me where I was. Didn't say nothing. Don't stand on no type of loyalty. I'm in the unknown. And then you decided to apologize to me for everything that happened. Tell me how much you love me. Tell me all these things and then propose to me a couple weeks later knowing you were on bullshit this entire time. He was like, man, Destiny, I love you. And when me and her start fucking around, because it was more than once. It was more than once? Confusion. It was more than once. Now the plot thickens. And I'm like, so it was more than once. He was like, it only happened that night. And then we woke up in the morning. The morning? Y'all had a nightcap? But I knew immediately after that I loved you and I wanted to be with you and that we took it too far and we crossed the line we should have never crossed. And we both was on the same page. I thought we had an agreement that this would not be brought up. I told her I was going to propose to you. She said she was happy for me. She was praying for our relationship and that she couldn't wait for me to be happy. That's all she ever wanted. He was like, and then she just started tripping. I had to end up blocking her because she kept texting my phone, kept texting my phone, telling me that she got feelings for me and, and all these other things that she can't believe I proposed to you. And all. I'm like, so you was trying to get her to come to my wedding for what he was like i didn't want to invite her like i asked you but i only asked you because she was telling me if i don't ask and she don't get an invite that she was gonna tell you everything that happened and i just i, I couldn't break your heart like that i never wanted her to come out actually was in disbelief when you said she could get in the field he was like, and she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't stop. He kept texting me. She kept telling me she loved me. She kept telling me all these things. She told me that she was pregnant. And when she told me she was pregnant, that's when I knew, like, fuck, like, I'm in deep. Because I knew she wasn't pregnant. Like, I wore a condom. Like, aw, a condom. Thanks. Like, bro, you're a fucking weirdo. And so is she. Just two weirdos together. Looney Tunes. Did y'all make a plan? to ruin our wedding were you in on it? he was like man yeah we made a plan yeah we made a plan that's probably what she was telling everybody but i was never gonna go through it why would i go through with something to ruin our wedding and we spent all that money on our wedding so it don't make no fucking sense to your stupid ass either why was you cheating actually he was like i had to tell her that i had to tell her that to to keep her quiet as me you don't understand she's crazy and i'm like no i don't think you understand that i'm crazier he was like a month a month before the wedding i told her like, this cannot happen. We need to be done. I'm cutting all communication off. Once I get married, this is done. He was like, and she crashed out. She was showing up at my job. She was blowing my phone up, calling my phone. And she ended up getting admitted into the cycle for 72 hours. And she put, me, she put me as an emergency contact. Oh, my God, it's a miracle I could hear again. So you want me to believe that this girl put you on an emergency contact in the psych ward. And that she crashed out so bad that she had to go to the psych ward. And you didn't have anything to do with it. You you blocked her. You didn't say nothing to her. You wasn't telling her anything like you was in love with her, that y'all was going to be together. You're telling me that. So you're telling me that she's literally just insane. And I'm like, how did you even know she was there? And he was like, well, shoot, I told you I was her emergency contact, Destiny. Are you not listening to anything I'm saying? Didn't I just tell you my ears started working again? Like, you're on a level 10 and I need you to bring it down to a negative one. Bring it all the way the fuck down. Pipe down, bitch. Pipe down. He like the, they called me and they told me that they had to get in contact with somebody and she just kept saying Josiah call Josiah call Josiah call Josiah so when they called him they were like we just need to let you know that the 5150 is not long enough and we're gonna have to 5250 her so she's gonna have to stay here for 14 days I said what the fuck did Joe stupid I say to that because did you so I guess he talked to her while she was in there because she was calling his phone and he needed to get the phone up because he was like, that's my friend. I, I had to be there for her. I didn't want to see her in that position. Like, I love you and I knew I loved you, but but I also do have love for her. I'm not in love with her. I'm not in love with her, but I do love her. I've been knowing her. I knew her way before I knew you. I'm over there planning a wedding in bliss and you got this bitch over there in the psych ward. And that is insane because I, I probably would have crashed your wedding too. I'm not even going to lie. Well, at this point, we've been on the phone for like 30 minutes. 29 minutes too long. Now he like, Destiny, I just, I need to come get my stuff out the house. And I'm like, you don't have a house. Like, I don't know why you keep acting like you have a home. So now I'm trying to get off the phone because y'all are dumb and dumber and made a plan to ruin our wedding. Even though you're saying you wasn't going to stand on it. You should have, you should have said it with your chest and did what you said you were going to do. Because now you did all of this for nothing, all this plotting and scheming. And for what? You should have stood on it.
Like at this point, he's trying to say sorry, trying to gaslight me, trying to manipulate me, trying to make it seem like it's not what it is, even though I'm looking at what the fuck it is and it can't, it absolutely can't be nothing else. So I ended up just like hang up on you, not in the mood. Like I'm not dealing with that. It's too many moving parts and I need to process it. It's so much going on. It's just so much going on. Like I need to process it. So after I hang up on him, I get a text message, maybe Ryan. I, I'm like, okay, here the fuck we go. She must be out the fucking hospital. And it's a picture of her holding up a pregnancy test, smiling. I instantly block her because, like, I don't got shit to say to you, bitch. I already beat your ass. It's already on site. I don't have to tell you nothing else. I instantly send it to him. And he texts me back. He like, man, I promise that was months ago. And I went with her to get an abortion. What? Do you know how sick in the head you have to be to make a 10 plus part series? that's based on straight lies all of it all of it's a lie yeah destiny go ahead and step to the forefront for me because i know of you but you don't know me but that girl that supposedly crashed your wedding is my cousin um the cousins you would have supposedly beat up that you said you beat up in your little made up story that would have been me and my sisters because we're the cousins of her you know but baby you ain't never seen me now or have you ever touched anybody in my family you don't even let's start this you don't know my family and my family doesn't know you but you know what you keep on getting on this tiktok talking and i could have sworn the court said to stop talking about my cousin because baby you're obsessed and let's just start off with this. There was never any wedding. There was never a wedding for you to get on here and lie and tell these people that you had a wedding that was even able to be crashed. Like, was you guys engaged? Yes, I found that you guys were engaged. But you guys broke up. Like three, four months after your engagement, he left you. You never even got to the altar. And I'm sorry about that. I'm not saying it's anything funny about it. But you are getting on here lying. Saying you had an entire wedding. And y'all never made it to that part. Is that why you're mad? Because now they're, they're married? Then you sat here and said that she was around you. My cousin was never around you when y'all was in a relationship. Saying that you had football Sundays. She was not a, she was not hanging out with y'all. Partying with y'all, coming to your house, none of that. What what is really going on right now? Like for real. Like what is going on in your head? Like literally. Because she was in her own relationship. She was having her own kids. She was worried about her own life. They used to date before y'all got together. And yes, they were friends after the fact. But to act like she was actively in your life trying to be your friend X, Y, and Z? No. Never. It was never that. But to also say that she was in this domestic relationship. Let's, let's talk about that too. You said that she was getting her head knocked between a washer and a dryer. She was never in a domestic violence situation. Why'd you think that that was funny in the first place? Even though you made it up, what made you think that ever laughing and joking about some domestic violence and lying about somebody getting their head knocked between a washer and dryer would ever be funny? For some views, for some likes, let's, let's go outside and touch some grass, okay? Do you know how sick in the head you have to be to make a... 10 plus part series that's based on straight lies all of it all of it's a lie yeah destiny go ahead and step to the forefront for me because i know of you but you don't know me but that girl that supposedly crashed your wedding is my cousin um the cousins you would have supposedly beat up that you said you beat up in your little made up story that would have been me and my sisters 
because we're the cousins of her, you know? But baby, you ain't never seen me now or have you ever touched anybody in my family? You don't even, let's start this. You don't know my family and my family doesn't know you, but you know what? You keep on getting on this TikTok talking and I could have sworn the court said to stop talking about my cousin because baby, you're obsessed. And let's just start off with this. There was never any wedding. There was never a wedding for you to get on here and lie and tell these people that you had a wedding that was even able to be crashed. Like, was you guys engaged? Yes, I found that you guys were engaged. But you guys broke up. Like three, four months after your engagement, he left you. You never even got to the altar. And I'm sorry about that. I'm not saying it's anything funny about it. But you are getting on here lying. Saying you had an entire wedding. And y'all never made it to that part. Is that why you're mad? Because now they're they're married? Then you sat here and said that she was around you. My cousin was never around you when y'all was in a relationship. Saying that you had football Sundays. She was not a, she was not hanging out with y'all. Partying with y'all, coming to your house, none of that. What what is really going on right now? Like for real. Like what is going on in your head? Like literally. Because she was in her own relationship. She was having her own kids. She was worried about her own life. They used to date before y'all got together. And yes, they were friends after the fact. But to act like she was actively in your life trying to be your friend X, Y, and Z? No. Never. It was never that. But to also say that she was in this domestic relationship. Let's, let's talk about that too. You said that she was getting her head knocked between a washer and a dryer. She was never in a domestic violence situation. Why'd you think that that was funny in the first place? Even though you made it up, what made you think that ever laughing and joking about some domestic violence and lying about somebody getting their head knocked between a washer and dryer would ever be funny? For some views, for some likes, let's, let's go outside and touch some grass, okay? And you get on this internet and lie. All these little stories you have told in the past and lied, let it go. But this one had came across my, my feed. And I said, you know what? Enough is enough. You're going to stop lying. Even that first story that you, you did to, to try to go viral about the whole same baby daddies, that's a lie. Because you only got two kids. So that's a lie. That never happened. But, you know, they had nothing to do with us. So we didn't really didn't care. But now you, you, you're you doing a lot. Now you're over here lying about her character. Lying, saying you beat us up. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Lying saying you had a whole entire wedding. Lying and saying she was getting beat up by her baby father. Lying and saying that you had this wedding and your, cut, your brother Day Day. Because I know Day Day. Day Day know me. Hey Day Day. What? Why are you bringing people into your lives? Like you couldn't even let Day Day out of it. Because why are you lying saying you had a wedding? Why is you lying on your brother? Why did you lie on Kirby? Why are you lying on anybody? Anybody? Why are you fixing your lips to sit here and make a lie for some views? Do you do you have any type of you don't have no like shame in yourself? But let's but let's talk about facts. Fact is they are married. They got married after y'all broke up. You've had a relationship since y'all broke up. You had a relationship before they got married, didn't you? Before they got back together. Fact is, she never was around you. Fact is that she has they have 50% custody of them kids. Fact is, is that she is a great stepmother to your kids. Fact is, she never wanted to stoop as low as you stooped when you found out they was together. Because you're so bitter. She had to get a restraining order against you. Did you tell them that? Because you're so obsessed. Because you're the type that, oh, my baby daddy moved on. I'm so I'm so bitter about it. I got to see her. Like, I got to fight you. I got to do this. I got to do that. Babe, my cousin has never had to do anything like that. We don't ever chase a man like that. We wasn't raised like that. 
We weren't raised like that at all. All these different things, we wasn't raised like that. We're not doing that. Baby, we were never that desperate for no man to sit here and try to, 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 for her to try to crash her wedding and do all this and begging you and telling you how much she loved him and how, and then you brought God into it. Yes, my cousin is a godly woman. Yes, my cousin goes to church. Yes, my cousin does pray. But all that other stuff in between, you lied about. As well as even the fact that you said, oh, I went through his text messages and seen and I went to the recently deleted. That feature was not even out when y'all was together. Why are you lying? That feature is a new feature. That feature was not out when y'all was together, Pokey. Why are you lying like that? At least if you're going to lie, make sure you, you know, get it straight. Make it a little more believable. I mean, you got these other people fooled, but you ain't got us fooled. That's not even a feature that was going on when y'all was together. Just, just, just do better. Then answer the questions then. Was your baby father not also your fiance? Did my cousin and your ex-fiance also, your baby father, not get married, engaged, and have a child all in one year like your story that you told about the whole wedding? Did you not, did you or did you not run up on my cousin at a kid's basketball game and try to fight her while she had her newborn baby in her arms? And that's why the restraining order happened. Did you not harass my cousin on the internet? Did you not make old TikToks about my cousin on the internet and about your baby father on the internet? Let me know that too. And then you let me know, if this happened twice to you, that a man that you were engaged with broke up with you, got with a woman that was his friend, got engaged, married, and had a kid with her all in one year. Did that happen to you twice? Because you keep saying you're not talking about your baby father, but that's what happened to your baby father, your fiance, your ex-fiance. That's exactly what happened. So you keep trying to say it's not about them. So you're telling me that this happened to you twice. A man has left you, got engaged to his old, to one of his, his friends, got married, had a kid. This happened twice to you? After lying, saying you beat us up, let's be for real. Let's be. So do you want to fight? Are you gonna call the police like your cousin? Family full of goofies. Y'all a family full of goofies. Let's be clear, they have 50 50 of those kids. First of all, me and their daddy have 50 50 of these kids. That girl, court order, she can't even drop my kids off at school. My kids do not like her. I don't know what they're over there telling y'all, but I will really get on here and air this bitch out. It's court order that she cannot drop my kids off at school. What do you think that means? You think that they just don't listen to a bitter baby mama when she say, I don't want my kids? They don't do that. They don't listen to bitter baby mamas when they say that. It has to be ground and reasoning behind why they will say she can't be around my kids by herself. What do you think that is? Get on the internet and tell the people that. Maybe that's why I was going to beat the bitch up and that's why I have a restraining order. But I digress. Second of all, don't speak about my kids because I don't play about them. Third of all, y'all always worried about the relationship that I was in and when I was in it and who I was in it with. I'm confused. He the one who told me she was at his house getting fucked, fucked on the floor. <laughs> I'm confused by told me. But since you want to come on here and you want to start shit and start shit up and throw insert your cousin into my business when I wasn't talking about her or her balding husband, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to clear some shit up. But I ain't going to do it right now, y'all. Back to our regular schedule program. Back to story time. Boiling. And let me tell y'all why. Because I really be minding my fucking business. Like, the, the way that I mind my business is, is literally, I could sell an ebook on it. Y'all, this is the last video until it's not about the situation. The next video that I upload will be part 14 for Ryan and Josiah. That has nothing to do with ugly, uglier, and balding, okay? It has nothing to do with anybody who getting on here is talking shit, talking about, and I know your brother, hi, Day Day. Bitch, Day Day will slap the fuck out of you for me. I'm confused, and so will Kirby. Y'all literally need to find something safe to do, because we all know, go ask my baby daddy if y'all should be fucking playing with me, because I guarantee you he's gonna say no. You should have never brought my kids up. Don't speak on my fucking kids, bitch. You don't know my kids and you don't know their mama. And I can tell you don't know their mama the way you spoke on them. Shut the fuck up or get in the field I don't play. And you, I, I at all. You're not going to play with me about being a mother. That's what you're not going to do. I right hand to God. This is my left hand, but because I'm, I'm holding my phone in my right hand. So don't think I'm slow like y'all motherfucking asses. Because y'all slow. I suggest y'all leave me the fuck alone. 
I suggest y'all leave me the fuck alone. I don't like none of you bitches. None of y'all. Anyways, yeah, y'all couldn't wait to get off work and yell at my camera. <laughs> I was irritated as fuck because I was like, who are y'all talking about? Then I go look and she over there literally telling all my business, bitch. Not you on here telling my business. Oh my God. So now I'm going to clear the, I'm going to clear it the fuck up. So September, September 29th at 8 a.m. A new story will be started but as of now let's get back to ryan and josiah and why the fuck she sent me a picture smiling with that pregnancy test bitch you want me to beat you up again y'all gonna end up like ryan like y'all are literally worried about the wrong shit worried about why that bitch went on a cruise with her baby daddy and she was married and he didn't go worry about why her husband was sitting on the phone with somebody that he don't like apparently and is just this bitter person for seven hours <laughs> he missed me i only got married because i didn't want to be a boyfriend I figured you was an idiot. I did. Now, y'all like to play my videos on the big screen in court. I hope y'all play this one. Have a blessed day. Y'all are literally competing where you can't compare. And you're competing with somebody you don't even fucking know, bitch. So how miserable and sad is that? Pick a struggle. Miserable and ugly is not a good one. You can't be both. Choose one. Martian! Y'all ever see Wade in the exhale? I'm Bernadine. As I'm ripping all of his shit out of the closet, I have my AirPod in because I still have questions and I still need to understand before I figure out if I'm going to bleach all your shit or burn it. So you got her pregnant? Because now I'm confused. And I, hurry up. Quickly. I told you I still don't even know. She didn't even know if I was her baby daddy or if her baby daddy was her baby daddy. But she said if I didn't take her because she would rather me take her, then she was going to tell him she was going to expose me. And I'm like, but you told me that y'all only got together one time at your cousin party. This all happened before we got engaged. This was months before when we were on a break. We was only the broken up for like a week. For a week? Like I will rip your lips off your face. And you got somebody pregnant in a week? That picture old. I already told you I was sorry. Yeah, but now there's new shit coming up. So now you like, but there's no, there's no need to even apologize. Because at this point, I don't give a fuck. I'm really just being nosy and messy. Because I, I can't wait to tell my cousins this. So you got her pregnant and then you made her get rid of the baby. How did you do that? How did you convince a delusional bitch to do that? I don't know, Destiny. I just told her a whole bunch of shit. I was just telling her a whole bunch of shit. But I wasn't about to have no baby with that girl. I wasn't about to have no baby with that girl. Destiny, I told you she was in the psych world. Why would I have a baby with a crazy bitch? I don't, I don't know. Why are you talking to me? I'm about to turn my ears back off. So yes, I'm trying to lay everything out on the table right now. I want us to move forward with a clean slate. You're homeless and I just bleached all your clothes as you were talking. So you do you want to come over here and pack up your bleach shit what which way do you want to go about it? you want me to put it outside on the curb like what's up you bleach my shit that's me you bleach my shit yes and i ripped all the zippers off your jeans so when are you coming to pick your shit up so you don't want to talk to me you don't want to have a conversation i'm not having no conversation with you over this phone no more i'm done you had you got that girl pregnant lied about it slept with her more than once lied about it she got an abortion. She was pregnant. I don't got nothing to say. <laughs> I am mentally drained. I will talk to you when you come in to pick this shit up that you probably don't even want. It could really just go in the trash. But if you want to come pick it up, you can come pick it up. And maybe my ears will be working then. Man, I'll be there Saturday morning. Hang up on you. Not in the mood. My kids are being mentioned. Journey and Jace deserve a better mom. You don't even know that, how to spell their names. That's not how you spell their names. And if y'all think that this is in the best interest of my children, that y'all are on the internet putting their names on here and telling people where their mother works and putting their mothers in harm way, harm's way when I have my children in my custody, I don't think y'all are thinking it through. And I think that y'all should go sit and talk to my baby daddy and ask him if he will be comfortable and if he's fine with y'all putting his custody in danger. Because this is... Do y'all think it's in the best interest of a child to be around somebody who has so much hatred and is stalking and harassing their mother on the internet for no reason? Y'all can block me. Like the judge said, block me back. You're on my page inserting yourself into something I, that has nothing to do with anything. And y'all been alive for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm so happy that I was able to get that, the clout you were looking for, got you enough followers. What'd you gain? A thousand, you're at a thousand. You have to be because you're on live with your with your two viewers, your thousand can't compare to my 39,000 that I, that I gained in the same amount of time that you gained that. I want you to understand that. Y'all can't compete where y'all can't compare. I suggest y'all leave me alone because I'm not bothering y'all. And if I was a liar and this, the story was fake, why are you mad about a fake story? No, a hit dog gonna holler every time. 
you exposed your cousin as being a side bitch. I never said nobody's name. You said it because I wasn't talking about them in the story. But now that the world knows that she's a side bitch, let them know. And then on September 29th at 8 a.m., like I said, the revolution will be televised. Until then, you will get nothing else out of me. Y'all can go on live for 40 days and 40 nights. Y'all can sit here and y'all can tell people what city I work in. Y'all can tell people that I'm scared to fight y'all when really y'all have the restraining order. So I'm confused as to who's really the scared one. But I digress. Leave me the fuck alone. Because I am a crash out. You cannot, you cannot out crash out a crash out. Because I'm going to crash out triple. Saturday comes. He been blowing my phone up all week. Because when we talked, it was like Wednesday. So he's been blowing my phone up since Wednesday. Like, sir, I'm deaf. I think you're forgetting I can't hear you. But like, I wasn't answering his phone calls. Because I cannot stand when people volunteer, voluntarily lie to me. Like, you literally called my phone to tell me lies. And if you're gonna lie to me, make sure I never, make sure I'm never gonna find out. And I'm not worried about him coming to get these bleached ass clothes that has been sitting in the garage since I went waiting to exhale on him. Like, I'm not worried about it. Like, they're in there. If you wanna come get these clothes, feel free. If you want me to put them in a box and UPS them to you, feel free. Even though you're down the street, I will go to UPS and overnight it. It's around 3 p.m. on Saturday and I get a no caller ID call. So I'm like, let me turn my ears on real quick and let me see if this is him because he's supposed to be coming to pick up his trash bags. And um, so I answer and he like, I ain't going to be able to come. I ain't going to be able to come today. I'll let you know when I'm able to come. And I'm like, I just hung up because like, what the fuck that got to do with me? So after I hang up on him, there's no need for me and him to talk. He said he was going to let me know when he was coming to pick his stuff up. So... I go on about my life. Like, you know, I get in therapy, I do all that, and I move on. So about two months later, I'm outside and I'm on a date with my man, my man, my man, because I fall in love in two to three business days. So now I'm at dinner with my man, my man, my man, and my phone is blowing up. And y'all know my phone got the flash on it. So I'm like, so I turn around and my man like, who is that? Like, your phone been blowing up. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, maybe it's my baby daddy because I blocked him because he was on bullshit, but... The, the kids, my kids are with me, so like I don't know what he would want. So I'm just, I just ignored it. Like I put the phone in my purse. Like I don't got time. I'm outside having a ball. So I just put my phone in my purse and I just continue on about my day, right? So as we driving home, my phone. Now I'm connected to the Bluetooth, and now my phone is still blowing up. So like the music keeps getting cut off. And he like, man, you answer that phone because now I feel like you playing in my face. Like, babe, I love you. You my everything. I would never do that to you, Bookie. So I answered the phone playing because like, who could this be? Like, House of Horrors, which one is yours? Hey man, it's Josiah. Uh-uh-uh, hang up on you, not in the mood. Nah, I didn't hang up. He would've knocked my head into the window. So I'm like, man, what's up? And he like, I was just calling to see if I could come get my stuff tomorrow. And I'm like, tomorrow? Like, you need to make an appointment. And, and we don't have any available tomorrow. And he like, man, Destiny, stop playing. And my dude like, bro, she said what she said. Like, you can come pick yourself up on Wednesday. He was like, I don't know if I'm free on Wednesday. Wednesday's the only day I'm free. And since the last time that we made this arrangement, you was going to come and you said at the last minute that you couldn't, you're going to come when I'm free. This is the only appointment slot I have open and that's available. And he like, all right, I'll make something work. I'll be there. I don't give a fuck what you make work. Be there or be square. If you don't come, and get these clothes, they're going to be in the trash because it's been two months and I've been giving you grace. And then I hang up the phone because, like, there's nothing else to say. And my dude, like, bro, a weirdo. A weird-ass bitch. So it's Wednesday and my dude, like, you need me to come over there? Like, no, I can handle my lightweight. But he had already emailed me Tuesday night telling me what time he was going to come. He was like, I'll be there between two and four. So I don't give a fuck what time you're coming. I'm going to just put this stuff on the porch between two and four because you could just come grab it off of my porch and you can go. Right? So... As I'm putting this stuff on the porch around like 1.30, y'all, he comes. And he like, Destiny, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, what do you need to talk to me about? He was like, I just wanted to let you know before you found out from anybody else that um, me and Ryan got engaged. And I just look at him and I say, like, what do you want me to do with that information? So now I'm walking in the house because like that literally is information that I can't do anything with except for laugh. Because I did let out a chuckle because <laughs> y'all are goofy. So I go in the house. That's the last time I talked to Josiah. I don't need to know the details of how y'all got together. I don't need to know the details as to why you're marrying the bitch that 
was in a psych ward. I don't need to know the details as to why you're marrying somebody and you made her get an abortion with your child. Like, I'm still confused. And I also am confused. I think, why would anybody marry you and you just got out of an engagement so quick? That don't make sense, but that's not my business. Like, today is one thing. To get married is another, right? So, so he told me this in, like, February, right? They got married in April. By October... I had got wind because we live, we don't, like, you know, it's a small world. I had got wind that they were getting an annulment. And I'm like, what? So when I get on Facebook, y'all, this girl done wrote a whole post talking about he having a baby by somebody else and she can't believe it. Bitch, you thought the grass was greener? So boom, Saturday comes. He been blowing my phone up all week because when we talked, it was like Wednesday. So he's been blowing my phone up since Wednesday. Like, sir, I'm deaf. I think you're forgetting I can't hear you. But, like, I wasn't answering his phone calls because I cannot stand when people volunteer, voluntarily lie to me. Like, you literally called my phone to tell me lies. And if you're going to lie to me, make sure, I never, make sure I'm never going to find out. And I'm not worried about him coming to get these bleached-ass clothes that has been sitting in the garage since I went waiting to exhale on him. Like, I'm not worried about it. Like, they're in there. If you want to come get these clothes, feel free. If you want me to put them in a box and UPS until you feel free, even though you're down the street, I will go to UPS and overnight it. It's around 3 p.m. on Saturday, and I get a no caller ID call. So I'm like, let me turn my ears on real quick and let me see if this is him because he's supposed to be coming to pick up his trash bags. And um, so I answer, and he like, I ain't gonna be able to come. I ain't gonna be able to come today. I'll let you know when I'm able to come. And I'm like, I just hung up because like, the fuck that gotta do with me? So after I hang up on him, there's no need for me and him to talk. He said he was gonna let me know when he was coming to pick his stuff up. So. I go on about my life. Like, you know, I get in therapy, I do all that, and I move on. So about two months later, I'm outside and I'm on a date with my man, my man, my man, because I fall in love in two to three business days. So now I'm at dinner with my man, my man, my man, and my phone is blowing up. And y'all know my phone got the flash on it. So I'm like, so I turn around and my man like, who is that? Like, your phone been blowing up? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, maybe it's my baby daddy because the nosy bitch I am. Because what? an hour and a half going down the rabbit hole when i tell y'all i ended up on the new girl grandma page ryan told post is bullshit like she's basically on there crying trying to gain sympathy points i can't believe this happening to me like a man having a baby on me and he made me get rid of my baby like i never thought that this would happen to me how could you never think that karma was gonna catch up to your ass like you don't what goes around comes around full circle did you think karma was gonna skip you so now I'm in there like, who is the girl? Like, who are we looking for? Like, what is this new girl name? Because I don't know, right? So I'm just scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. And she like, are you talking about Leah? Now I got to find Leah. So now I'm in the comments like, where is she at? Nobody tagging her. Like, what's T.I. say? Bring them out, bring them out. Mind y'all, I'm blocked. So I'm doing all of this for my cousin's Facebook, right? My cousin gave me her login and I went on her Facebook. So... As I'm reading in disbelief because they, they blocked me after I laughed at their wedding pictures because y'all are goofy. How I got to the girl grandma page was because in the comments on Ryan's post, there were people in there like, I can't believe she did this to you. Like, that is foul. That is foul. And I'm like, who the fuck did what? Who did what? Putting y'all family business out like that on Facebook. I don't know why y'all want everybody in y'all business. Y'all family, y'all family. And I'm like, they, who, who is family? So in that comment i go i click the drop down to see the rest of the comments to that the replies to that comment and i see like this is her grandma and i think that you guys should really just take this off of the internet it doesn't need to be on here boom we got action i go to her page and like there's a post like i can't wait to meet my um my great grandbaby i'm so excited like new bundle of joy coming december 2nd and i'm like oh my god like the grandma is literally diabolical because like did you know he was married I go on the grandma page and when I go on the grandma page like like the first two posts is her talking about the baby shower and how it came out so nice and how it was beautiful and I can't wait to meet the, the new baby and then I scroll down and it's a picture of Leah pregnant and Josiah holding her stomach and in the comments on that picture now there was like 50 comments on that picture on that picture in the comments it's like grandma you out of line for posting this like Leah's foul for having a baby by her cousin husband now I click that page. So when I go on that page, they have a whole thing. Like, I can't believe that you trapped her husband and you kept that baby knowing that he told you he didn't want you and all this and all that. Then why is he smiling in the baby shower picture? Literally, that's my question. It's just crazy that you was in their wedding and the whole time you was in their wedding, you was pregnant. We was wondering why you didn't drink at the bachelorette party. You knew you was pregnant this whole time. Da -da 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 
Now Leah like, oh, y'all want to get on Facebook and y'all want to air my business out? Did she not tell y'all that when I got pregnant it's because we were having a threesome? She like, yeah, you get them how you lose them. Uh, I ain't had no threesome. I got cheated on. Like the nosy bitch I am. Because what? I spent an hour and a half going down the rabbit hole. When I tell y'all I ended up on the new girl grandma page, Ryan Topos is bullshit. Like, she's basically on there crying, trying to gain sympathy points. I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, a man having a baby on me, and he made me get rid of my baby. Like, I never thought that this would happen to me. How could you never think that karma was going to catch up to your ass? Like, you don't, what goes around comes around full circle. Did you think karma was going to skip you? So now I'm in there like, who is the girl? Like, who are we looking for? Like, what is this new girl name? Because I don't know, right? So I'm just scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and she like, are you talking about Leah? Now I gotta find Leah. So now I'm in the comments like, where is she at? Nobody tagging her. Like, what do I say? Bring them out, bring them out. Mind y'all, I'm blocked. So I'm doing all of this for my cousin's Facebook, right? My cousin gave me her login and I went on her Facebook. So as I'm reading in disbelief because they, they blocked me after I laughed at their wedding pictures because y'all are goofy. How I got to the girl grandma page was because in the comments on Ryan's post, there were people in there like, I can't believe she did this to you. Like, that is foul. That is foul. And I'm like, who the fuck did what? Who did what? Putting y'all family business out like that on Facebook. I don't know why y'all want everybody in y'all business. Y'all family, y'all family. And I'm like, they, who, who is family? So in that comment, I go, I click the drop down to see the rest of the comments to that, the replies to that comment. And I see like, this is her grandma, and I think that you guys should really just take this off of the internet. It doesn't need to be on here. Boom. We got it. My kids are brought up as an adjective, a noun, a verb, a thesis statement. I don't give a fuck how they got brought up or even my court order was even talked about on the internet or how me and my baby daddy split custody is even brought up. And this story had nothing to do with a baby daddy. I'm not afraid to say my baby daddy. I never have been. I'm not scared of nobody. I don't give a fuck. But what I do give a fuck about is when my kids are spoken on or people want to be, do things to my children or people want to... I'm telling y'all, I don't play behind my kids. I've been telling people that I leave. Do whatever you want to do to me. Say whatever you want to say about me. I don't care. It, is, it does not bother me. But when you start speaking on my kids, I take it very personally. Very, 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 very personally. Ooh, it's not good. It, it, it's not. And I'm an intelligent crash out. That's what y'all don't understand. So, and my baby, want, my baby asked me, mommy, please don't go to jail. And I didn't go to jail, but I got a restraining order on me. And I have a copy of the restraining order. You know. A stay away order, not a gag order, which is something that allows you to not be able to talk. But September 29th, y'all.